Uh, it was a really 2015 reinvent. They really opened the floodgate with the integration between API Gateway and the Lambda. So you can actually build entire REST API using you know, API Gateway and Lambda, uh, both of which are considered the serverless uh, components. And uh, I guess uh, the phrase uh, serverless really cover, well, I guess, was still quite early in those days. Uh, people were just starting to come up with a name for this new paradigm where you don't you don't think about uh, managing servers and configuring them and uh, configuring scaling groups and things like that. So nowadays, I guess the way you talk about serverless, we are really talking about any number of technologies where you don't have to manage the underlying infrastructure. And ideally, you only pay for them when you actually use them. So you're not paying for resources that are sitting there not doing anything. So, you know, with API Gateway and Lambda and DynamDB and lots of services like that, including S3, uh, we can all call them serverless because uh, we only pay for requests for when you know, we actually use those resources to do something as opposed to paying for uptime by the hour, even if nothing is actually running.